about a good friend Chuck from Elgin, all the way from Elgin, for his first critical mass. Never, never been to one before. Have, looks like you got your critical mass haircut, as do I. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw that you had, uh, oh. you were looking for one. Yeah. And I was I like, I was they, trying to like scatter my head, trying yeah, to think not, of where. Not only did I get one, but I think that Jesus who is coming to the match with his son. Yeah. Um, but I think he's gonna pick me up the amp that I actually sold him. He's gonna loan it to me, and I'm gonna wire it together. So I'll have. Uh, Very good. But cool. the thing is, I, I have a need. Maybe if you're hanging out today at some point, I said you want to run to like. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm free because we're. I was gonna like we're down this into town. He got off at Western, yeah. so we don't want to go too far. Yeah, and we're gonna like head out and out there with you guys. We're, I was gonna show him around here. Then maybe we would uh, take. Kind of, I mean, it's kind of a drag to go to Target. I was gonna say if, if you could run to Target, maybe two, like a bunch of batteries and a splitter. A hundred batteries. That's a bunch of batteries. Oh. A bunch of double A's. Whatever. Where's Target? Out. It's in Damon in like 35th. Okay. Uh, 33rd. Yes. Yeah, not right now. We could, no, we could no, do it before, before the time you got to leave. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You're going to make sure you got to you clear people out beforehand? Well, I'm, I'd like to give uh, Chuck a, the grand tour. Yeah, do it. Then we can introduce him okay. introduce you to Lee. Thank you. We'll probably start with the floor and then, you know, work around. <coughs> it's a big deal. <coughs> that is the, the service uh, department and uh, some of the new, new items. But most... So they make income from people bringing their bikes in to get worked on too. Yeah, huh? you can, this, it's kind of a, I would relatively new for the yeah. for working bikes to have a that, that yeah. little shop. I guess. Yeah. But all these bikes are donated from any possible location you can think of: mm -hmm. police uh, departments, uh, bike drives, colleges, Boy Scouts, farmers markets have bike drives. Yeah. And, uh, so all the bikes are donated. Everything that's going on on this floor. Is geared towards shipping 5,000 bikes a year to Uganda or Central America, uh, El Salvador, places like that. Cool. Um, most of the people that are probably 60 to 70 percent of the people working here are volunteers. Uh, Paul's manager, so he's an employee. It's a little slow today, but being a holiday weekend, but you can see all these bikes uh, have been refurbished. They do the bottom hubs. Everything's been taken apart. Anything that has moving uh, bearings has been greased. Okay. The hubs, bottom bracket. They have a warranty as well, which is better than getting some off of Craigslist. Is you have a little recourse, you know. You can oh, what kind of warranty these come well, with? Well, it's like a 30-day. They'll fix anything that's wrong oh. with it, or you can trade it in for another uh, store credit. Oh, for another okay. Price. It's neat to see. Mm -hmm. they, they, uh, like this old Falcon is from England. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I had my eye on this for a long time. Yeah. Wow, good price too. 160 bucks. It's, yeah. 160. That's I, the, the bikes I like are the ones under 200. Mm -hmm. I really, I really get excited because when someone comes in, they want a bike, and they say, "Hey, look, yeah. uh, it's lasted 30 years. It'll probably last you another 30, and it's right now ready to roll." If you need it, they probably have it. Hello, Lee. I'd like to introduce you. This is a good friend Hi, of mine, Chuck from Elgin. First nice to meet time you. He's been here. Hi, Chuck. First, my first time for first Critical time Mass. Here. This is Lee. He's the founder of Working Bikes. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. So uh, we're we came down a little early, and we're gonna be coming back for. Uh, there's a group that's gonna be leaving here, going to the. Oh, okay. Right. So we want to support that. And yeah. Fun. So it's that's his first great. time being on Critical Mass. I've never been to it before. He kept saying, "You gotta come. You gotta come, Chuck." And I'm so glad I did. Well, I'm just making uh, room for 200 bikes coming from Iowa. Oh, okay. Neat. So these are. These are ones just brought in that you haven't had a well, chance no, to. These, like the ones up here have been fixed, they got okay. bags ready to go on the floor. Yeah. And some of these, they, they either can go in the elevator, go on upstairs, if there are uh, some road bikes that we okay. fix and sell here uh, in the city. The ones on the dock, these are what they call shippers. The okay. They're going to, um, you know. Do you think they like pegs in, in Cicero? <laughs> Yeah, you never know. That's well, there they are. That's the result of bringing in forty bikes from Cicero. Oh wow! Eighty pegs. Because they don't really keep the pegs on when they go to Africa or something. They take the pegs off, oh. and they're easier to to. Uh, oh, so you can squish more in, yeah. This is, looks pretty good, actually. The way this is very conservative. Yeah. Usually, there's a mound we call like uh, the Kitty Bike Mountain. Oh, just like a pile. It's yeah. all the way up to the ceiling. So, 
you can almost play basketball here now. So yeah. The basketball hoop. But these are these are ones that are ready to go into containers. Okay. Mostly mountain bikes and BMX bikes because that's what can roll, you know, in Central America and Africa. Yeah. And stuff. Okay. Shipped off to uh, Central America and Africa. So that's those are shippers ready to go out. See these bikes here. I think these are these were DC bikes. They could actually uh, they, they tried an experiment where they actually purchased some high-end bikes from a place out in D.C. for like pennies on the dollar. Yeah. And then that way they could sell them. These would go for a thousand. So that's high-end. It was yes. like an experiment to see if they could a great profit margin. And yeah. then, I don't know if they might try that again. As a rule, everything is donated 100%. Yeah. Yeah, you're just you have labor with uh, from the volunteers that you're, you're yeah. ahead of the game. You're not putting that labor. Yeah. But they do... Uh, Employ, I think, like four or five mechanics for part of it. So here's tons more bikes. Oh my gosh, wow. It's kind of neat on this end. You can get. Uh, as far as you can see. Vintage ones. There's a nice product. This is like the whole upper floor. inch rims and 27 inch rims, you know, for cruisers. Yeah. They go through them, true the rims, uh, grease the area so they're ready to go on a bike. Then you got to build one up. Not the case on all the rims. You know how to true a rim yourself? Mm, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I need somebody to teach no, me. You, to... take, it's, you know, it, it, it's one to teach that it's a matter of sitting down and doing it. Yeah. So, uh, into the bike. Here's that elevator that goes up. Some of these bikes are donated bikes on this back rack. They'll be donated to places uh, here in Chicago, some okay. uh, youth groups and things like that. This is a, kind of like the vault um, where they keep some of the nicer stuff. This is a kitchen, kitchen area for a mm -hmm. kitchen. You can bring your food in here and utilize this kitchen. Since we're all volunteers, it's kind of like, you know, nobody's your mother. Clean up after yourself. Yeah. And you're free to... I mean, it's, it's weird. You get some people, they're like, why won't they do this? Why can't they do that? You're like, you are the they. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah, but, you, but you come here. We're everything, not, not yeah. Sure. You come, you volunteer one time, and you'll be part of the they.